Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm building another family in Create a Sim. Uh, this family is definitely going into the family that I am playing with off camera. I really am in desperate need of some new neighbors. I'm really in desperate need of some new townies. I really love like creating a new refresh of different neighbors and different townies that like your Sims can run into at a coffee shop or wherever they're going. And so that's what I was doing here. Uh, I kind of you know turned on my game and I noticed that there was this uh, adult that I was like oh my gosh he would be great uh, as a friend to the son that I have in my family that I'm playing with uh, they are I have two sons and a daughter and they're kind of like getting to the age where they're going to be aging up into teenagers and so I just thought creating this family that has two teenagers in it there's uh, two twins uh, they're a girl and a boy and then also having like they have a mother and a father as well and then also they do have a pet uh, golden retriever which I added him after you won't see him uh, but his name is Otis and he's so cute I just feel like a lot of the dogs like there's not much you can do with them like create a sim wise I mean you can like change their the color of their coat and all of that and change I think some of their features and things like that but I feel like dogs are pretty like straightforward and standard so I just kind of you know excluded that but they do have a dog I love the pets in the sims those that those packs like were my favorite because I've played since sims 1 and those you know packs were my favorite having pets in the game just takes it to a whole nother level uh, so I really love it I really love having pets I feel like this family would be like on a farm somewhere or just like a place that has lots of land because I do feel like the daughter is really into horses and so maybe she would have a horse as well she's kind of like that preppy you know popular girl like she really is into her studies as well uh, but she really loves having her friends and um, hanging out with them and all of that and I do think that she would be uh, really into horses as well and possibly have a horse of her own if not maybe she would like go to a stable sometimes and, and ride a horse that possibly like her parents got her or something like that but uh, she is really into uh, into that I feel like uh, just because that's the personality I was getting from her uh, she is really focused on her path she really knows what she wants to do in her life she knows where she wants to go I know that she has uh, you know ambition to go to college and she kind of knows where she wants to go uh, she's more of a bright Chester um, you know student as well like she has their memorabilia I feel like on her wall and she's also wearing uh, the shorts that came with that pack for her workout gear so I just really feel like she would know where she like she wanted to go to school and she'd buy like all the memorabilia and have the clothing items as well the son on the other hand I feel like he's struggling a little bit I don't really think he knows what he really wants to do with his life and I think that you know his focus mostly is on high school and just having friends and going out to parties and just hanging out I don't really think he has a you know focus on his future at all which is uh, his sister's goal is she knows exactly what she wants to do she wants to you know work you know for her future and all of that so uh, his goal is just a little bit different I feel like she's home every night on a school night if she's not at practice and she's just you know hanging out in her room studying so she has really good grades I feel like she's really driven really ambitious he on the other hand I feel like his homework is slacking I think he goes to like practice but when he comes home he's just on his phone with his friends or on his games with his friends and it's not really you know focused or driven in that way uh, but his parents or their parents I feel like are more relaxed parents or more easygoing parents I don't feel like they have a very strict dynamic between the two of them and their children I feel like they're more you know our kids have their heads you know on their shoulders straight and like they know exactly what they want to do they're really good kids which they are really good kids but I think that you know having those conversations maybe with their son would be a good thing uh, just saying like hey you know what are you gonna be doing you know your sister's got everything planned out you know what are you doing and not necessarily to push him into like college or anything like that but just having something lined up for himself so that he doesn't you know um, get into that slump of not 
feeling like, uh, you know, he's, you know, making a difference or he's doing anything with his life. So that's what I think, you know, their dynamic is. But like I said, as opposed to the last family that we did, I feel like that mother was pretty strict and, um, you know, trying to get her daughter into good schools and all of that stuff. And her daughter really wanted to focus more on music. Uh, I feel like this family is kind of the opposite where their parents are just like, you know, do what you need to do, do what you, you want to do. Um, and we're here to kind of support you through that. Uh, but yeah, that's the difference. But I think like having those conversations too is, is important. And I don't think they're having those conversations with him. So possibly in high school, he may become a, a little bit of a rebellion stage. He, his grades might start slipping. There might be some, um, you know, curfew stuff that they would have to set in place for him so that he's not like, and then he, maybe he could sneak out because they do have that window in the high school pack that they're the kids can kind of sneak out from. So that would be kind of fun to play with as well. Cause I haven't really played too much with the high school pack. The only thing I've done in the high school pack is like bring them to the school together. Um, like we, I've gone with them to the school and like had them, uh, doing their papers and listening to their lectures and all of that kind of stuff. So that was kind of fun to do. I really liked playing, um, in that game. That gameplay is pretty cool. I really liked being able to go to the school with the kids and kind of seeing their interactions. Um, but the reason why I want to, you know, make more families is because I do want to have like more teens that will go to that school. So that way they're, um, I'm not seeing the same students all the time. Plus, um, in my games, when I play, I turn aging off and I age them up when I feel like they would age up normally or, you know, um, more of like a realistic aging up than the game doing it for me. That's what I love doing anyways. Uh, so like once I feel like, okay, this toddler has met all of their like requirements and that they are feeling good, I will age them up. Um, and then also like with the kids, it's like, okay, once I feel like they're doing well and you know, they, um, it would be that time where they would age up into a, a teen. That's when I do it. Um, as well as, you know, through all of the life stages, elderly as well. Like it's like once, you know, they're adults and, you know, I feel like they are, you know, their kids are kind of grown and they're not going to have any more kids is when I would probably age them up as well. Like once their kids are probably in college or like getting close to being out of college and all of that. So, or probably not then, probably not that early, probably like more like when they're young adults in their family, like, and they are probably going to age up into adults is when I would age up their parents into elderly. Uh, what I really love about the growing together pack, I'm having so much fun with that pack as well, is I love the puzzle aspect to it. I love being able to sit down with as a family and doing puzzles or games and things like that. That's really fun. Uh, I know like the base game had some games that you could do with family, but I really liked that they added puzzles. I think that's so fun. I've had a lot of my families like do puzzles and then when their kids are born, they'll like frame the puzzles on the wall. It's just really fun. I really love it. I love that pack so much. Um, I also uh, really enjoy the high school pack, like I was saying, and I really want to play more with the um, high school pack as well. And even like the growing together uh, world that comes with it, I really like the fact that you can kind of walk around the lake with everyone and just kind of a, do a group walk, which I always thought should be in the game. It would be fun if they could do that like um, more in the game, do those types of things. Those are really fun, and it just adds a different level to the gameplay, I feel like. As well as like when uh, they added that uh, toddlers can help with gardening and kids can help with gardening and things like that. I just really enjoy that. I just think it's so fun. I think um, I had a family that I was playing with on my channel and she kind of, um, the grandmother took the kids in and she was trying to um, have the toddler help her with gardening. It was just so cute. I just loved it so much. Um, it's just really brought a new uh, breath of life into the game and I really enjoy that. It's kind of a bummer that some of the packs that they've put out recently have been, you know, um, I don't know, ruining people's games, I guess. Uh, I don't have the packs, so I can't really speak on that, but I know that a lot of people have complained that 
especially the new pack the I think it's like uh, I don't remember what it's called but uh, you can be like a landlord in the pack and I feel like uh, a lot of people on the reviews really please don't get this game it will break your game and that's just really sad to me because I've been playing since Sims 1 and I mean I played when Sims 1 first came out and so I just feel like uh, you know it's just come a long way and to have those packs not you know kind of breaking your game and things like that it just makes me kind of leery about buying those games because I really don't want my game to break sims is where I kind of escape and like do uh, you know have those times where I can just kind of escape real life and kind of do a life in the game and I just really don't want it breaking down or like struggling or um, anything like that so that would make me really sad so I'm not getting those games unless they fix it there is one game though that they did say uh, is kind of ruining the your it would ruin your game is the wedding stories pack and I haven't gotten that yet but the only reason why I want to get that is because they do have slow dancing in that pack as well as a world in that pack that everyone says they just get it solely for the world um, so I'm kind of struggling on whether to get that or not but I heard that you can't really do weddings like the base game so I'm not sure yet I'm still kind of on the fence about that um, but anyways you guys I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end the talking portion right here uh, and I hope you stay tuned to the very end so you can kind of see how they came out um, the family but anyways you guys like I said I'm gonna end it here thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you all very soon